15th of June, 1996, a bright sunny morning in Manchester. Saturday shoppers were filling Market Street in the Arndale Centre, buying presents for Father's Day. The country was hosting Euro 96, and the nation was gripped with football fever. 9.43 saw the first warning. You've got one hour to clear the city. It was police communications operatives, like Paula, who dealt with the threat of that fateful message. I was a police constable working in the divisional control room of Greater Manchester Police at Bootle Street Police Station, which was in city centre Manchester. I started work at seven o'clock in the morning. It was a quiet Saturday morning, just organising the daily patrols and sending them to any jobs that came along. Packed into a van, parked on Corporation Street, the £3,000 bomb detonated at 2,000 feet per second. At the age of just 16, Sarah had walked frighteningly close to the location of the undetonated bomb on her way into work. I would have been going to um, my Saturday job in Manchester, which was at a swimwear shop. Um, so I'd left school and was just making some extra money through Saturday job. At that time, it was the biggest mainland bomb in Britain, which caused immense destruction around the city centre. Rebecca was only 17 at the time of explosion. She now teaches and uses her experience to help teach regeneration. Six, I had plans to go into Manchester to go to a job interview at Virgin Megastore on Market Street in Manchester, so very centrally located. I was very excited about it. It was like my perfect job. I was really, really looking forward to it. We were expecting for the Bobbies to come to deal with the football later on. Um, and they were just sort of filtering in. I thought, how are we going to deal with this? How long have we got? I think I still didn't quite believe that it was going to happen. And the bomb disposal crew were there and I just thought, well, it'll be all right because they'll, they'll make it safe. I was in the shop and customers had been coming in for about, it must have been about half an hour, an hour, saying that Manchester was kind of being evacuated and people were being sort of moved down, sort of to our way. Um, but we didn't think anything of it. We were just, oh, it'll just be a scare and we'll just carry on working and didn't think anything of it, really. Unfortunately, I couldn't get in that day because of the Manchester bomb that went off. The bus was stopped before we could get into the city centre. We were all told we had to leave. I assumed it was something to do with the football, but I had no idea what it was. When the bomb went off, I was scared. I just went, shit, they're up, and, and dived under the desk. And I just thought everybody was dead. I, just, I, I couldn't see that anybody could have survived at all. We did see it go off on the screen. It was horrible. The whole thing just went grey and, and the, the camera shook. The building shook, something I'd never experienced before, and I don't want to do it again either. I was really scared, I was only 17 at the time, didn't know what on earth was going on, I had no one else there with me. There was another lady that was there and she was, um, I think she'd come off a, off a bus and roll, everyone was like trying to get home and I had a little cry and we had a little hug, this complete stranger in the street. Because the noise was, wasn't an obvious kind of blast noise, it was more of like a funny rumbly noise, I kind of thought, why are all them customers on the floor? And then you kind of realise then that Obviously, the glass is all shattered and the alarms are going off and it was almost like a delayed reaction. It was the weirdest thing to see. It was on this street 20 years ago that the devastating event occurred. The only thing left standing was a post box, which still remains in the same spot today. From the vast damage caused by the IRA bomb, one positive has been the significant progress of redevelopment in Manchester city centre, which has seen the renovation of Marks and Spencer's, the Arndale Centre, and the surrounding areas, such as the Triangle and Corn Exchange. Manchester has changed for the better in many ways. It's become a lot more sustainable. The buildings themselves are more sustainable, more environmentally friendly. They're going to be able to last a long time. Um, they're more modern. Uh, it took away a lot of the uh, more ageing areas of, of Manchester. So it's become um, a lot more modern, a lot um, more attractive to many people. It's a huge national and international tourist destination and this regeneration has only helped to establish it as a as a major city in the UK. I love Manchester, I feel like it's it's home, I'm very proud to live here um, and I know that if there was an incident going on, although you don't see things happening on the street maybe, that 
it would be happening behind the scenes and I do feel very safe in Manchester, yes. <laughs>